going on Bass Nation? Today I'm going to be testing out the Strike King Zero Z2 baits. They are super action, super soft, super durability, and super salty. And super stretchy. So I picked these up at Cabela's for $3.99 for a pack of six. I believe uh, just the regular run-of-the-mill stick baits from uh, Strike King are about three dollars at Walmart. So for about fifty, about a dollar more, you can get these stretchy guys. Um, I know uh, Z-Man also makes a uh, elastic bait, which I have used for uh, my Ned rigging, which. Um, if you've ever used a Ned Rig, is a very effective uh, technique to use. And I know that when you use the Elastis Stretch, I believe it's called, um, baits, they do last for uh, quite a few bites um, without uh, ripping up the, the plastic too bad compared to the, the normal plastic that you get. Um, I know the Z-Mans at Cabela's are about um, how much are they? From four dollars, I believe, a little bit over four dollars. So, uh, for about 50 60 cents more or less, you can get the, the Strike King Zeros. Uh, this is a watermelon color. Um, they only had like four color selections at um, Cabela's to, to get. So I picked watermelon. It's a pretty, uh, pretty neutral color for all conditions. Um, I'm going to be doing some bank fishing today. I don't have enough time to uh, take the boat out, so uh, kind of only have a few hours to to do do the test. But uh, I'm going to see how it goes. I don't know the the weather's been a little bit off this summer for. Well, I guess it's not. Well, I just I think summer just started, but. Uh, been a little off for Wisconsin it's been uh, colder than usual so um, it was like 50 in the 50s last night um, so hopefully that doesn't affect the fishing too much um, I haven't really can't really tell so far this year um, but uh, we'll see how it goes today and uh, yeah see what these guys can do um, hopefully they uh, they get the job done, but uh, stay tuned and uh, I'll be with you shortly. All right guys, so the first place I went to was the two W's, too windy and too weedy. So I came on the other side here to a different lake here in Whitewater. A little bit less wind. Still weedy though, not too bad, but try one of these guys out. Gonna be rigging it up Texas rig. I know a lot of guys when they rig their Texas rigs. They like to push the, the bait up to here on the tip, like that, and then go through. I like to move it up a little bit farther. That way the hook's a little bit lower on the bait. Come through and snake it up. Stuff is a, these ones are a little bit different than the, the other kind. Kind of hard to push up onto your line. There we go. Kind of work it up like so. That way the hook is a little bit farther down on the bait instead of being up here. A little bit farther, so you got a little bit more room to set the hook in the fish's mouth. Definitely got to go weedless in here. 
There. And I bought the watermelon color. All right, so the problem I've been having here, guys, this lake is very, very weedy. I and mean, you can just look out and see all the weeds laying on top of it. The problem is, is when I go weedless on here, you have the hook sticking out, and you bury it. All these weeds, with this elastic, elastic plastic, is making it very easy for it to pop out and get exposed. Like that. So I'm catching a lot of weeds with it. Had a few nibbles, but I'm pretty sure they're bluegill just nibbling at it. It's a little frustrating. I'm definitely taking a ride on the struggle bus. All right, guys, one more, tr one more try. I've really never fished before. A little windy. It's actually a, a river system. Current might be a little too strong though. bite. Push on. There we go. Whew. About time. This is the first time I've ever really fished this river. And there are fish in it, apparently. Pretty decent one. Not too bad. Go back. Man, I have been struggling all morning long. 
but I didn't get skunked. We're back at it. I see people fishing here a lot. To tell the truth, I'm not a huge fan of river systems, but the way the morning's been going, I figured I'd give it a shot before I pack it in. Riding that struggle bus all morning trying to catch a fish on this bait. I actually got it stuck in that tree there. When I yanked it out and it fell, he smacked it. And I was actually able to land one. on this elastic strike king zero two worm. Let's see if we can go for another one. No idea where that went. Well, I think I found where they're hiding. It's just how do you get there? One just came right out of the water and this tree here is in the way. Wind to pass. Come on. Keep hitting that tree. It's kind of a tough spot. <laughs> I'm in right now. Holy cow. I found him though. There's one. So apparently they are hiding right underneath that tree there. They might be stacked up. Another guy. Thanks, bud. Alright guys, just finished my uh, first uh, go around with uh, the Strike King Zero Z2 stretchy bait. Um, a little bit tough, tough sledding out there today. I uh, ended up having to switch locations. I went to the, the Bark River, which I've driven past a lot, but uh, seen people out there fishing. Um, never tr really tried it myself, so I figured I'd just give it a go, one last dish at ditch effort, and uh, turned out, and I caught a couple fish, finally. Um, the Bark River uh, is a smaller river system that leads into the Rock River um, here in Wisconsin. Um, so I was able to catch a few fish on it, and I uh, just wanted to let you guys know what I thought of uh how it how it performed so i ended up casting it probably the same bait right here probably ended up making about 100 casts with it and uh caught two fish on it um it held up pretty well 
through all the throwing it around all day all morning but uh one thing i noticed was rigging it up i had an issue with it bunching at the top of my hook i'm using a three yacht ewg hook on a texas rig and i noticed once you string it up it gets a little gummy and can bunch up a little bit at the top here almost like a mushroom this isn't too bad because i've been using it all day it's kind of broken in a little bit better now but it will get real mush mushroomy at the top and you couldn't really get it the bait as straight as i would want to be because it would kink a little bit up here and uh, another thing i noticed too if you're fishing heavy weeds which i was at my first location um when you dig the hook in to make it weedless this uh stretchy material um doesn't really keep the hook in well it kind of bends it out and uh it's kind of real gummy till it eventually exposes the hook um so i caught two two uh pretty pretty normal sized bass for this area on it and i did notice that it did wear down a little bit after the two two fish landed um there were some rips in the center where the hook was i mean it's still intact there's no huge gashes it's not ripping apart or anything like that but it did get some cuts in it um where the hook was so and that was after two fish um with the regular straight king uh stick baits i noticed that uh you know i'd probably get you know land you know three or four fish on one bait before it starts to get torn up real bad to the point where you really can't use it anymore so i mean who knows two on here two more i don't know if it would have would have held up any better than the than the regular uh straight king um stick baits with the hard the firmer plastic i guess uh but yeah overall i'm not too sure on it yet if it's worth the money um i'm gonna have to do another maybe a comparison between the z2 and the just run-of-the-mill plastic uh strike king baits and uh kind of do a comparison fish them both and see uh see what happens but uh yeah so wish the day would have went a little bit better with uh the fish bite but you know that's how it that's how it works sometimes but uh yeah um be interested to see how the two compare next to each other so i'll be doing that on my next video so uh stay tuned and uh continue living the dream see you later